Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lauren Fix, and this is the 2023 Lexus UX. It comes a couple different ways, but it only comes with one engine driveline now, and that is the hybrid, no more non-hybrid UX. So if you want one of those, you'll have to get a previous year. However, what it does have is a lot of improvements for 2023, and we're gonna show you those, give you the pros and cons, talk about the price and the cargo space. So when you go to buy one, you know exactly what you're getting. And we'll talk about the competition of which one of them is the Toyota Prius and some of the other vehicles, not just that they make, but also some of the other brands. So let's get started with this vehicle overall. First of all, I love this bright blue color, it makes a statement. And in front of this is a bi LED headlight. This is new for this year, as well as this gigantic grill, which we've seen before. It's important to note that behind this large Lexus logo is all the safety features. And what's new for this year is the safety system 2.5 plus that gives you all of it as standard. That's the lane departure warning, the cross traffic alert, all those lane safety features that you need to keep you safe on the road. Lexus has added all these safety features standard because it's really important to you. Now also you'll note that this has that black chrome trim all the way around the surround. This is an F Sport on the regular UX. You're not going to get that. You're going to get something that's either chrome or body color depending on the trim level that you buy. Now let's take a look at some of the other features that are different for this year. Our test vehicle rides on Bridgestone all season tires. They all ride on 18 inch alloy wheels. They either come gloss or flat. This wheel is special for the F Sport. Again, that F Sport logo right there to let you know you're driving something just a little bit more special. Some of the standout features of the design of the F Sport are these wheel archers that are a little bit more aggressive. You'll also note that the F Sport has the black on top, body color on the bottom on their side mirrors. Also black roof rails and black roof on the F Sport. Otherwise, these are aluminum. Very aggressive body style, but also very sporty and very futuristic and modern, which I think is what Lexus is trying to go for with their newer look. And you see that all the way along even in the UX. The F-Sport also carries chrome trim around the windows. When you come around to the back of this vehicle, you've got an upper wing that is black to follow along with that F-Sport body line. You have your wiper blade and your LED tail lights. On the back of our test vehicle, it's all-wheel drive UX 250H. And this vehicle looks like the previous 250, but inside there is a lot of changes as well. Warranty is four years or 50,000 miles and the first one year or 10,000 miles of maintenance is included and that will help save you a few dollars. When it comes to visibility, this front windshield is a bit short. So depending upon how you set the seats, you could have excellent visibility. There might be an issue, again, why it's so important to test drive a vehicle. There is a backup camera, which is standard on this vehicle, as well as lines to guide you for reverse. Now, when you're looking at seating, the most important seat in the house is right here because this is where you sit when you own this vehicle. The seats are very comfortable in the F Sport UX. Highly recommended going with the F Sport trim package. Of course, that does first some people's budget, but it does have three stage heated, three stage ventilated leather seats and two stage heated steering wheel. Going to the second row, that's kind of a different story. Here in the second row, this is a compact crossover. You can tell I have the seat set for me and it's a little bit far back. So you've got a little bit less knee room that you might in some of the competitors. You'll notice a pocket behind the passenger seat, but not behind the driver's seat. There are two vents and two charge ports. Now this does hold two child safety seats on the outboard area. And if you pull down this center console here, you've got two cup holders. Pretty basic back here, but considering the price range, you're getting what you need. And remember that this is a compact luxury vehicle. When it comes to technology and features, there are some improvements for 2023, some of the, which is the larger screen. This is a 12.3 inch screen. Standard on a UX that is not an F Sport is an eight inch. As you go further down, you'll see some standard controls that you're used to looking at. A push button start, wireless charging, two cup holders, and as you go further back, you'll see what comes as part of this F Sport package is automatic heated and ventilated seats, as well as two staged heated steering wheel. There's also an EV mode and a hold mode. So when you get a traffic light, the vehicle doesn't roll forward. Do love this Lexus high quality materials on the interior. And I think that is a big part of why Lexus does so well. Just the leather wrap steering wheel, the hand stitching, the paddle shifters for the F Sport are really nice. 
You'll notice the steering wheel controls have a lot of those safety features encompassed into it to make it a little easier, as well as your audio controls and an F Sport logo. When it comes to the infotainment system, it's wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatible, AM, FM, satellite, and USB connection. Wireless charger is an additional $75. A head-up display, which our test vehicle has, is $900, and a power tilt and slide moonroof is an additional $1,100. And if you really want those illuminated door sills, they're $425. When it comes to those different drive modes, you've got normal, eco, here, custom if you push in, and sport and sport plus. It's as easy as turning the dial, and when you do, you can see that the gauges also change to go with it. Part of the F-Sport package includes memory seating, heated and ventilated seats. Under the hood of the Lexus UX is a two liter hybrid four cylinder engine with 181 horsepower and it gets 39 miles to the gallon combined. It runs on regular unleaded gas and backed by a continual variable transmission or a CVT. Front wheel drive is standard, but our F Sport model is all wheel drive and adds a third electric powered motor to the rear wheels to give it even more power. So I have the vehicle in Sport Plus mode that's taking this dial and moving it all the way to the Sport Plus mode. This is a two liter hybrid motor with 181 horsepower, like I said, but I'm not really impressed with the performance. When you think F Sport, you think performance. Zero to 60 time is 8.6 seconds. My foot is to the floor, no kidding. And we're at 60. And that's kind of a shame because the vehicle looks great. It's got so many amazing features, including the improved handling with the F Sport package. It's a shame that you're losing the performance with the F Sport package. One of the things when you buy F Sport, you think about performance. Unfortunately, the results are zero to 60 time in 8.6 seconds, which is much slower than other vehicles in this category. And that's kind of disappointing. And to me, that's the major negative of the car, but it looks great, it sounds great. It's got all these great features, including wonderful fuel economy, but it just needs something more. It sounds like it's struggling. And that's one of the things that I noticed. And by the way, the brakes are great. Here we go, to a complete stop. Brakes are excellent. That's one major positive. Foot to the floor, zero to 68.6 seconds. That's just a bit too long. And back to that stop mode. Good brakes, a major positive. Let's try a three point turn to see how the vehicle's turning radius is. This is important because you don't think about it till you have to make a three point turn. So let's see, very nice tight turning radius. That's a major plus for this vehicle. Very easy to get around corners. And that is major plus when you're trying to get into a parking spot. Now let's take it out of that Sport Plus mode, my favorite mode. We're gonna go back to just the regular Eco mode and see how it drives. A Little bit of chirp. There's not that much of a difference between the Eco and the Sport Plus, you think there would be. And there is a difference, but it's not so dramatic that you're like, wow, I'm in a super performance mode. It's more like, it's just a little bit more. Let's go to the normal mode. And that's where you're gonna be driving most of the time. And it's acceptable for on-ramps, for a passing mode, you wanna put it into that Sport or Sport Plus mode, and then you're gonna get just a little bit more power, which you might need at some point. You never think about it till you actually need it. Now, is this vehicle a track car? No, it's not. It's an everyday luxury sport compact SUV that has a lot of what you need it's just missing in a few areas, and we'll talk about that at the end, so you want to stay for the pros and cons. I've only covered a few here, but there's a lot more to cover. When it comes to cargo space, there's 17.1 cubic feet of storage. Underneath this cover is a very small area for storing something like an emergency kit. 
but this is a lot smaller than that of their competitors, which would be like the Mercedes, GLB, even the Toyota Prius is considered a direct competitor, even though they're sister companies. But you also look at maybe a Subaru, an Audi, and BMW, they all have vehicles competing in this category, so it's important that you test drive all of them, and that includes the Volvo V40. So this is something that you need to think about before you make this final decision. These seats do fold down flat, so that's helpful, and there is a cargo net to sort of protect your items. When when it comes to price, this vehicle starts at $34,775. Then when you add the S-Sport package and go to the top trim level with the all-wheel drive, you're at $43,700, plus, of course, those extra features that you want to add to this vehicle. Now, it does come with a long warranty, and it is a Toyota product, so you know you're going to have really good reliability. And adding that one-year maintenance is a definite plus. But there are so many competitors in this category, from mid-luxury to luxury vehicles, that you really need to drive each one and check with your your insurance company to see what makes sense. Now let's look at the pros and cons. On the pros side, this vehicle looks great. A lot of excellent color choices, both interior and exterior, and I really love the blue on the exterior with the red on the interior. Very Superman, in my opinion. But also, you've got all of that Lexus safety, which is standard, and the good warranty. And then on top of that, an easy-to-use new interface, which I think is really important. Having 12.3 inches to work with gives you a lot of ability to have a navigation system that really helps and makes your Apple CarPlay and your Android Auto even larger and easier to use while driving. Head-up display is also excellent. When it comes to negatives, there are two that come to mind right away. The small storage space and the lack of power. Now, that may not make a difference to you, and that's why it's important to test drive every vehicle, but it's a very comfortable vehicle with a nice ride, and that new insulated glass really makes a huge difference. So when it comes to the 2023 Lexus UX, I'm pretty impressed for a vehicle as a daily driver, but it needs something yet in the performance end in order to make it top of the category. Again, that's something that Lexus could work on in its next generation. I did not cover every single detail on the Lexus UX, so I'm sure you have additional questions and comments because you always do. Put them down in the comments below and I'll get you an answer. If you want to support our channel, you can buy me a cup of coffee. The link is in the description as well as our website, social media, podcast, and the book. If you like this video, please sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this one. We appreciate your support and we'll look forward to seeing you next time.